at this point, the blanks have been drilled, carbon has been put down the holes, we've applied a plating resist and that's been developed, so we're now ready to electrolytically plate the circuit boards. This line here is the electrolytic plating line. There are two tanks at the far side of copper, and the near tank here is the tin tank. In these tanks here we've got the copper blanks, you can see them on the cathode rails there, and there's some more on this, this tank here. The blanks remain in the electrolytic copper tanks for about an hour to complete the plating process. They're then carried over into the tin tank where they're plated with a layer of tin, which takes about a further 10 minutes. This is the control workstation for the electrolytic plating line. We don't use a DC plating process, we actually use a periodic reverse pulse plating. That means for a few milliseconds a high current is applied in the reverse direction. And this has the effect, combined with proprietary chemistry in the tanks, of improving the throw rate of the copper down small holes.